Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Gear. Today we're going to be going over what is phone line monitoring. So back in the day, every home used to come with a phone line, right? So <clears throat> if you're already paying for the phone line, why not use it to send out alarm signals? So a lot of these alarm systems had phone line connection. Even the ones that are made to this day still have phone line connection. Um, it's not as widely used as before but there are still some panels out there that do allow you to use phone line monitoring. Now, for instance, um, this Vista panel here, it has the last four uh, terminals there, still for phone line. This is still a widely used system. A lot of people still use it. Now, the thing about phone line, which was uh, back in the day, like I said, you were paying for it anyway, so a lot of people figured, hey, why not just use it for the alarm system to send out signals? Another good thing about the phone line back in the day was that it was by law FCC required all phone lines to be powered to the phone line company that had their own backup battery so even if the house happened to lose power your phone line would still work which means your system would still work as long as it had a backup battery of course right because if the power's out to the system the system still has that backup battery and it'll still function in sending out the phone line signals which then you would still have a working alarm in the event of a power outage. However, phone line does still have its uh, still does have its faults, right? So a lot of people don't realize that people can actually just cut your phone line, and if that's all you're using on the system, then your system's no longer going to communicate out because the phone line has been cut. Now this is where cellular communicators entered in. Cellular communicators allowed it to where if your system was using phone line and it got cut, the cellular communication would, the system would pick up on the cellular communicator and continue to send signals out through the cell path. Now, <clears throat> nowadays, we, use, we you know, before we had phone line and then we added cellular to it, but nowadays everyone has internet at the house now. And again, same concept. If you're already paying for internet, why not allow internet communication to be what's used to send out the alarm signals? So a lot of these systems are now going from cellular or going from phone line to cellular, now having three capabilities, right? You can either choose from cellular internet or uh, cellular internet or phone line. Again, not every panel out there has the capability for phone line as phone line to this day now is starting to be pretty unreliable. Sometimes it sends out dirty signals. Um, if you're using VoIP, voice over IP, I, we have seen from a lot of our customers that use it that there are a lot of issues sometimes when setting it up. Usually what we recommend is to stay away from the phone line monitoring if you can. If it's make it or break it, you can certainly do phone line. However, we recommend sticking just to IP and then of course cellular as backup as cellular is can really be interrupted, right? Internet or phone line can actually be cut. So that was just a quick little bit about phone line monitoring. Again, only a certain amount of systems to this day still allow it. A lot of the new wireless systems don't even have the connection for phone line anymore. So it's just something you guys want to keep in mind when purchasing an alarm system and whether you guys are looking for cellular internet or uh, phone line monitoring. And if you guys want to find out more, you guys can always email us at support at alarmgrid.com. Uh, if you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit like underneath. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and enable notifications. That way, whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. My name is George from Alarm Grid. I'll see you guys next time.